Khajiit is happy to show you how controls work. Khajiit likes this much better. Khajiit feels much more agile and responsive. So this, this has nothing to do with me. I did not discover this. I just was made aware of it and I wanted to give it a little signal boost in case some of y'all haven't heard about it. So yesterday over on my Discord, Sora Firestorm pointed me in the direction of this little fix for Fallout 4. I haven't tried it, but like, wow, big if true. And I just commented that, yeah, that would make sense because I noticed the same thing in Star Wars Squadrons, which if you remember, I went from all mouse and keyboard to all gamepad in Star Wars Squadrons once they released an update that let you zero down the dead zone. And actually, yeah, so I just commented back that I did try it. It's still, I mean, it's, it's never going to feel the same as a mouse, but it feels a hell of a lot better. So what is it? Found a fix for Fallout 4. It also works on Skyrim and Fallout 76. I personally only tested it in Skyrim, but really it's very simple. All you need to do is it's this dead zone on the right thumb, right thumbstick. It doesn't need to be in the prefs. Someone actually uh, pointed that out in the comments. <laughs> yeah, according to the Beth Any, just place it in Skyrim Any, no need for the Skyrim prefs, which I tested and that does work. So first, how do you get there? So you're going to go to Documents, My Games, whichever Bethesda game. Open up the Any. Find Controls, which actually... Uh, yeah, actually, for this one, he even mentioned that. Yeah, for Skyrim... There isn't a control section, so just so just make controls fr thumb dead zone 0, 0.0. But to show you what we're talking about, let's cut that out. Okay, so we're in the game. These are the defaults. Khajiit is happy to show you how controls work. So I'm playing. This is all gamepad. I have these, you know, these were tweaked to some of my preferences. You know, like I cranked up output, minimum movement precision, whatever. And I also... Cranked up the look sensitivity, not all the way. So I'm gonna, all this is going to stay the same. But I just wanted to cover that. Let's uh, hop in first person. So... can see how slowly I'm actually it's hard to tell but I'm there see how much I'm tilting the gyro it doesn't move unless I do it Let's see if you can see my thumb it's all right it's moving 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 it's pretty like if I do a, a hard, quick movement, it moves, but it's not great. I can play like this, and I did play like this because I play sneaky and I want analog move. That's really the main reason why, because this game doesn't support mixed input. So it was doable, but it's always kind of sluggish. So let's... Like, I just, I feel like I'm pulling it I'm it, actually yeah that's it's like I'm rowing I'm pulling the oar through the water I can just feel like a drag on it so okay that's 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 the standard that's how it's been we go back into Skyrim any I'm gonna paste the control section with Right thumb dead zone, 0, 0.0. I'm going to save that. Okay, we're back in. Let's go back to first person. And that... Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's really... I, I'm not even sure if it translates, if you can see, but it feels so much more responsive. I'm no longer dragging that oar through the water. It's, oh, it's amazing. 
Khajiit likes this much better. Khajiit feels much more agile and responsive. And that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, that makes a huge difference. It actually... Let's get the hell out of here. It actually makes me kind of excited to possibly reinstall Fallout 4. I, I don't know. I didn't do any of this uh, acceleration stuff, but that's definitely something to look into as well. But really, just adding that one line. Controls, dead zone, zero, to Skyrim any. It made a huge difference, so thank you, Sora, for pointing it out to me. Thank you, Jimbo0123. And actually, I think somebody made a post on the Steam Controller forum. Uh, yeah. And possibly these two look at help as well for the acceleration. Yeah, I not test. I haven't tested those yet, but the Dead Zone 00 absolutely makes a huge difference. It makes it feel much more, I don't want to say fluid, because I was making the whole or dragging water so it wouldn't be fluid. It would be responsive. It just makes it feel snappier because you're not having to... You're not having to cross the threshold for some baked-in dead zone. We don't need a dead zone because we have a steam controller. There isn't a spring that requires a dead zone to, for drifting. So yeah, it's like, I really wish more games would let us just delete the dead zones on left and right stick. Which, well, I guess that's a whole different conversation because I'm, I'm fully indoctrinated to using left pad for movement and I know a decent chunk still use left stick. Which, yeah, you might need a dead zone for the stick, because it's gonna wear out and develop drift. But that's it. I just wanted to make a quick little, you know, maybe you already know about it, maybe you don't. If you don't, I wanted to signal boost that people figuring this shit out, because that makes it feel a lot better, and that's always been a frustration with Bethesda games. I always want to keep the analog movement, because I tend to play stealthy, and you lose that if you go all mouse and keyboard, the games don't support mixed input, this this can help. I mean, there's also... I never made a video about it, but there is a mod for Fallout New Vegas that you can get... You can get mouse and gamepad input. I Stewie... I Stewie Al? I Stewie AI? AI, yeah? I, I don't know, whatever. No, oh, that's an L. What? What? No. Less Stewie Al? Le, le, less Stewie Al? Less Stewie... L. Stewie? I just read Stewie. <laughs> That's... Sorry, man. Stewie's tweaks here. It, uh, I had to jump through some hoops to get it working right, but... There was a way to get this to... Have simultaneous gamepad and mouse. But I think it only works for Fallout New Vegas. Because it's an older one and it has to use... The script extender or something? I can't remember. I shouldn't have even brought that up because that's a whole separate ramble and I'm not, I don't have the documentation with me to remember exactly what I did, but it is possible to get simultaneous mouse and gamepad, at least in Fallout New Vegas. But that's beside the point. Point being, this zeroing out that dead zone does make a huge difference. So thank you for figuring that out and thank you for sharing it with me so I could pay it forward and maybe let a couple people know about it. Because, yeah, that's that's cool. So, all right, that's it. I will see you around. A cup of whipped hot chocolate tastes great right now. Carnation's Cocoa Supreme, the delicious hot chocolate drink with the light, delicate flavor you like. Wouldn't a good hot cup taste good right now? Ask for a cup of whipped hot chocolate at our snack bar. Thank <laughs> you.